I'm a New Jersey native, and so I went to Rutgers for undergrad, and then New Jersey unfortunately does not have a veterinary school, so I had, a, had to go out to the Midwest, went to the University of Missouri for veterinary school. And then after uh, veterinary school, I did my internship at the Angel Memorial Animal Hospital in Boston. Then I did a three-year surgical residency and master's degree at the University of Minnesota College of Veterinary Medicine. When I decided to open the practice, I really envisioned a practice where we could do everything under one roof, where we would not have to send the cases away to different other hospitals for other specialties and the animal could get everything taken care of in one, in one place. All the surgeons here do all types of surgery. We do soft tissue surgery, orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, emergency and trauma surgery. The things that I have special interest in is orthopedics and joint replacement surgery, and so I'm the one surgeon here in the practice that does those procedures. We get to do what we love every day, interacting with people and their pets, and probably the most rewarding thing is seeing an animal that's has a really connected to their person and, and the person's very connected to them and they're really sick and maybe don't have a great uh, prognosis for a good outcome, but then we can take that animal and get them, fix them and get them well. And just seeing that animal be healthy again and seeing the joy on the person's face when they're reunited with their pet, that's probably one of the most, most rewarding things about this job. There's one case that from a couple years ago, it was a little dog that came in uh, with this swelling, you know, in its, in its inguinal area, groin area, and it turned out it had an incarcerated hernia. The dog was very sick, the intestine was being strangled, we had to do, you know, an emergency surgery to go in and, and remove that damaged part of the intestine and reanastomose, hook everything back up. But what I, what I didn't know at the time is that this dog was, um, the woman that owned the dog was wheelchair bound and this dog was her constant companion. And so again, you know, getting this dog well and returning him to her because he just would ride around with her in the wheelchair all the time and get her back to where he's healthy with her because she was lost without him. He was like, and he would get things for her. He was like a little service dog for her. Those are the types of things that are very rewarding and, and make every day, even the hard days, worthwhile. You know, we're always trying to develop new procedures and new techniques and do clinical trials. So coming up with new and innovative uh, technologies and techniques in medicine to help the animals and then putting those into place and doing the studies to see the outcomes and when they actually work that's really rewarding. We have a great team here and I wouldn't be able to do it without all the people that work here so all of us working together has created something like that I think is really special.